morning welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today is wednesday january 22nd i have not vlogged in a week oh sorry for my absence um i'm like definitely feel motivated and inspired to be creative and to make videos and to create videos but it's like the actual the actual like physical part of like vlogging during the day um has been hard for me to do lately and i just don't know why it's 10 o'clock right now and it is wednesday like i said i have class at 2 and at 3 30 today so far this morning um i've just woke up i straightened up something that i've been really like working hard on the past like week or so um or week and a half i'd say is just like making sure i'm like cleaning things up um frequently like throughout the day rather than just like every few days and it's been really helping with just like my mindset and everything because i feel like when my house is like dirty and cluttered my mind it just like gets even more overwhelmed and stressed and it's just stupid and it's so much easier to just go ahead and clean things as you go so that's what we've been working on a lot lately that's another update griff and i have been cooking at home so much lately which is really good because you guys know we we're eating out a lot at the end of last semester and then when we first got back just because of our rat problems and everything um it's not really enjoyable to cook where they've been and stuff but once we got everything like thoroughly cleaned up and the smell gone we felt good to keep cooking so we've been doing a lot of fun different recipes and stuff and that's been really good all i've done this morning is plan out my day on my digital planner which i talked about in my last vlog which just uploaded this morning um and then i watched michelle's video while i was planning i ate my breakfast so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to work on going ahead and knocking out some of my reading for my corporate tax class which i'm enjoying so far um i just need to read the first 12 pages of chapter two for class tomorrow at 8 a.m and i need to like get some things together for class today but in about 30 minutes i'm going to get ready to go to the gym because i want to go to the gym around 11 and um, i'm just going to use this 30 minutes wisely rather than just taking it as a break and filling it with random things like scrolling on my phone, watching YouTube videos, not really getting anything done. Um, I'm gonna take advantage of this 30 minutes and actually get some reading done for my class, which is a big tip I have for you guys if you're struggling with your productivity and getting things done during the day. Take advantage of your little breaks that are like 20 minutes plus, um, like that are under an hour and over 20 minutes because it may not seem like a lot of time in the moment to get something done, but you can definitely knock out a decent amount of stuff in at least 20 minutes. It's 10.36 right now. I just finished up reading six pages, I believe. Yeah, six pages of corporate tax, which means I'm halfway through with it, which is nice. I just have to read to page 12 and I'm on six right now. So that's good. I can save that for tonight. It's so much easier to just break this material up because it is so dense. And then I just went ahead and printed out my, um, wait, it didn't print all of it because I'm out of paper. So gotta go put some more paper in, but my uh, GBA 490 class, which is just strategic management. We have to do like cases for every class pretty much. This is technically our first case. Um, I need to go get the other pages. I'm so thankful I finished this on Sunday because it's due today. I literally finished this at Starbucks. Started and finished it. I don't know if it was Sunday or Monday, but. So I'm currently getting ready for the gym, but really quickly, I just wanted to note, what is my hair doing? <laughs> note a few things to you guys. So I know that in my last vlog, I just like talked about like not really feeling in the mood to vlog and just feeling like really out of it and honestly I still kind of feel that way I think a lot of it is just because I get overwhelmed with um doing everything and then this semester I'm really trying to make sure I prioritize not overworking myself and working too hard because I definitely think last semester and maybe even the semester before that I just spent a little bit too much time um like I would go crazy like I had I wanted to upload a lot so I did and everything but I ended up having some negative consequences like me not really making as much time for myself or my I feel like I still hung out with my friends um, at least like once a week and then like I would say like it wasn't good for my relationship either just because I was prioritizing like staying up late to edit videos over other things and I just think that I feel better whenever I take time to actually care for myself and um, take time to actually be present with the people around me instead of constantly like being worried about videos and stuff so I'm going to just keep it at like two videos a week, which I still think is fine. And it's probably going to be uploading around Sunday and Wednesday. I'm sure there will definitely be times where I have more than two videos a week. But I just want to say like don't expect more than two a week. And that'll be like the minimum for me for sure. Come to the point where I just realize that I need to get in the habit now of prioritizing the right things and not over prioritizing 
like YouTube and making content and everything because I know once my internship comes this summer, um, I'm going to have to really learn how to balance the podcast, YouTube, um, work, you know, my relationship, friendships, working out and all that stuff. So I'm just really trying to keep my priorities straight and not overwork myself because I think going into my internship this summer, I really want to be in a good place mentally and um, just have like really good habits instilled in my life already. So that's a big thing I'm trying to do this semester just so I'm prepared for the summer, if that makes sense. Also, if you guys, I get so many questions about this all the time on my videos, but if you guys want any kind of tips for interviews or for recruiting, or if you just want to know what accounting and finance is like in college, or if you just want to, even if you aren't an accounting and finance major, I think that there's something that everyone can get out of the episode. But on my podcast on Monday, which is the Gen Z Girl podcast, I have the link in the description always. Um, I released an episode where I spent an hour and 20 minutes talking about my recruiting process, what it was like, um, my tips for recruiting. I give uh, samples of like my favorite interview questions to ask and like questions to ask at recruiting events and everything. Um, I give tips for like meet the firms, career fairs. Uh, for recruiting events in general. I share some of my worst interview experiences and um, answer your guys' questions about like majoring in finance and accounting. If any of that sounds interesting or if you need any kind of like tips for recruiting, getting a job, interviewing, or anything of that sort, definitely check it out because I think it could help you. This is my TJ Maxx little, I got a set of two of these over Christmas break. If you guys watched Vlogmas, you would have seen that. They're like fitted seamless tops and I love them so much and they come with little pads in them. It's super cold outside and I just feel like I need more support. Today I'm doing back and buys and then I'm wearing my Gymshark Vital Seamless pink leggings. Um, I haven't worn them in a while, like since Chris, since like I was home over Christmas break I feel like so I just want to wear them because I've been wearing a lot of Fabletics and other Gymshark stuff lately. Of course I've got on my ultra boosts that are like orchid tent color so we went bowling last night because i had a delta sigma pi like it was our recruiting event sort of for uh people for this semester it was really fun um i just thought i'd tell you guys that i don't know why but we had like the funniest thing happen just follow me on instagram you would have seen this but um when we were bowling if you guys ever played wee bowling we like tried to mock the little jump thing when you throw the ball back and it was really funny. Get him, get him. <laughs> Griffin and I finished the morning show last night and it's so good, it was like disturbing at some parts towards the end, but I highly recommend you guys watching it and plus it is on Apple like TV on their subscription service. Griffin found out if you get, or if you've got like any kind of like Apple device in the past year, you can get the Apple um, TV subscription for free for a year so that's what we did and we were able to watch it and we finished it within a week and it's so so good I loved it just made my pre-workout a lot of new pineapple and then I've got my BCAAs um, just the sour gummy for Lani new Griffin made these for me but he didn't think I wanted pre-workout but I do we're, getting, we're, we're about to get this grind session in okay okay <laughs> 12:17 right now. I just got out of the gym. Here is my workout summary. I know you guys can barely see it because of my jacket from it being so cold outside. But I did back and buys today, and I feel like I burned a lot of calories as compared to usual. Um, and that was for 50 minutes of working out, I think. So many of you guys ask me how I burn so many calories in my workouts. Um, I and like what setting I use on my Apple Watch. So I just put it on other because. I just feel like that is what like works best. Like especially like on upper body days for me, I normally don't burn as many calories as I do on lower body. So what I do on upper body days is I definitely always try, not always, but a lot of times I'll try and start out with 10 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. And what I'll do is just do a full incline like all the way up as high as it goes, which is usually 15 and then walk at a speed of like three. And it's basically just power walking up a really steep hill for 10 minutes and that like gets your heart rate up. It gets mine up to like 160. So that's a really good basis for going into your like workout if you do that and then go straight into your lifting because then you kind of maintain a higher heart rate instead of having to build it up um, just from lifting if that makes sense so but I'm gonna have about an hour until I need to leave for class when I get home and I have to shower uh, so I'm gonna shower off just like my body or whatever and then make a lunch and I'm gonna see if I have time to do the sponsorship that I need to like submit today 
So cooking is gonna be the last thing I do before I leave. But right now I'm about to go in the shower. But I'm just going to let these, these are like the Orida hash potatoes and I've just kind of like been loving these lately. I saw a lot of like the fitness um, influencers I follow on Instagram, like they always eat like egg whites and these potatoes and I was like, honestly, that sounds amazing. Hopefully these will cook in enough time. I made them the other day and it took a while. Um, I wish I would have preheated this, but obviously I just got home. So anyways, I'm doing 400 degrees and I'm going to stick it in the air fryer for, I think it was like probably 25 or 30 minutes the other day, honestly. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to shower and get ready while these cook. And then when I this gets done cooking, um, or as it finishes cooking, I'm going to make some egg whites in a salad, I think. So I just finished up recording my Instagram stories for Honest Beauty, and I have them right here. Um, I love doing it in my little robe because it like is so fitting because it's like a nighttime cream. I'm so excited to be working with them because ever since I heard about Honest Beauty um, on the Skinny Confidentials podcast when she had Jessica Alba and her husband on, I, I can't remember his name for the life of me. They seemed so genuine, and hearing her talk about Honest Beauty made me want to try their products, and I know that they're affordable and um are like really clean ingredients so you don't have to spend like hundreds of dollars on skincare this video isn't sponsored but i found that like the more affordable brands actually tend to work better for me for whatever reason so i don't know but i just got done filming those stories so i'm gonna get, go ahead and send them in i need to leave here in about 25 30 minutes also if you guys have any recommendations for spf to use on my face like every day let me know because I'm realizing that I should probably be doing that every day um, for my skin because it would just be really beneficial. I know it's important that we're SPF like every day because we like literally come in contact with the sun every day. So definitely on the market for that. I got some at Target the other day from Sunbum. I, I like like it, I think, but I'm not like 100% sure because yesterday my face was like, itchy, but I think it was because I was wearing a hat. So I don't know if it was from this or not, but let me know if you have any recommendations. We're going to go make my lunch now because your girl is hungry. Definitely could have done 20 minutes on my potatoes because some of these are burned, but I wasn't able to shake them around more than once because of recording my stories. Got my romaine hearts, and then I'm going to try out this green goddess dressing from Primal Kitchen. I've had their honey mustard before, and it was really good. Um, sorry, ignore these paper towels right here from my air fryer drying from when I cleaned it. So I'm just going to throw this on there, and then I have some croutons. I, they're like little cracker croutons or whatever in the pantry, and I'm going to throw those on top and eat it with um, my egg whites once they're done and the potatoes. All right guys, need to leave like five minutes ago, but I'm wearing this white long sleeve thermal top from Urban. I got it on sale the other day for like 15 or 20 bucks, so um, I wouldn't spend the normal price on it, but I love it because it's like at the perfect crop, and I just, I don't know, I love it. I really needed more white long sleeve shirts that I could wear with joggers and stuff because I was, all of mine are just ratchet because they're like poor quality uh, Forever 21 ones from like the past two years. These necklaces, this little G one, the gothic G, and then the little chain are both from Shop Evren on Etsy. I'll leave them linked down below. I still love my golden GLDN necklace, but... I wanted to get something new to switch it up since I've been wearing that one for almost two full years and I still have it and it's still in great condition and so far these are doing really well too. And then these joggers are misguided. They're not fleece lined or anything but they're just extremely comfortable. Platform Air Force Ones and black puffer jacket is nasty gal. So running late. I have my smoothie though. I'm gonna hate going into this class late but we're doing it. <music> So I just got out of my classes, it's 4.48, I'm gonna head home. It's gotten really cold and I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it's gonna be really, really cold if it's gonna rain. But thank God it's Wednesday night. Tomorrow all I have is my 8 a.m. and my office hours, thank God. My Tuesdays are literally like I'm busy doing something from like 8 a.m. to like 9 p.m. and it's really brutal. So that wears me out for a Wednesday and then Wednesday I feel like I do a lot of my YouTube work. Um, I always work out in the morning and then I have my two back-to-back -back classes and then I have to go home and like cook and um, prepare for my Thursday 8 a.m. because we always have readings in between every class and it's like a lot of material. Thankfully I finished half of it earlier like you guys saw. Separated our laundry which is insane right now. We have towels to do, Lululemon and Gymshark. 
fabletics type of stuff to do. And then, of course, darks and whites. Evan should be here really soon. I'm going to wait till he gets here to start cooking dinner because I also need the chicken to thaw a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is, once again, take advantage of an awkward amount of time. Just try and knock out a few pages of reading corporate hats. I just want to be able to, like, get enough sleep tonight and be well rested, even though tomorrow I will have time to nap and stuff if I need to. So, um, that's that. But I just have I, I don't know, when I have my 8 a.m. I just really like to be asleep early, like in bed at like 10. So I currently have chicken in the air fryer right now. I let it preheat for four minutes and then um, I don't remember how long I do it for. I'll tell you guys when it's done, um, but I'm just doing like by trial and error right now. But pretty much how I season it, I just got the organic chicken breasts that I had um, and I cut them up on one of those little, one of these little things I got from TJ Maxx and um, I melt butter in one of my like glass pyrex containers and it's probably like three tablespoons of this butter i would say maybe four um and they're like pretty big chicken breasts but they're thin um and i melt the butter for 30 seconds in the microwave and then i will flip the chicken in the pyrex container i'll do one piece at a time and flip it and then stick it on one of these little sheets and then i season it and my favorite like go-to seasoning combo is this garlic salt Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Umami Seasoning. I don't know why, this is just like so good. Um, and then a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder, and that's just like a bomb combo. Here is dinner. Zucchini looks questionable. I ended up putting it in for a lot longer, um, but it may just be because it's not as like fresh as I thought, because I think I got it like early last week, so I don't really know about that, so. Might not eat that and substitute for something else. I made way more pasta than we need because I like to make extra so that like tomorrow I can heat some up and have some for lunch. I'm just gonna put butter, salt, and pepper on here. So it's currently 8.35. I am so exhausted. And I talked on the phone with my dad for about 30 minutes and cleaned up from dinner, put the dishes away and wiped down the counters just to keep the kitchen clean and finished up my reading, which was incredibly boring, and I honestly don't think I comprehended a single bit of the last three pages I read, but I at least understood the beginning of it, so. Just showered my face feels so incredibly dry I could literally claw it off right now um, I am wearing this Victoria's Secret pajama set that I got for Christmas I never wear pants like long pants when I sleep because I hate the feeling of like them getting all tangled up um, under the sheets and stuff so it's currently at 10 o'clock I plan on going to sleep in the next few minutes because um, I'm pretty tired but honestly you guys I think I like I pretty much read this entire book except for like this these last 30 pages on what christmas break maybe no thanksgiving break i read literally this entire book or maybe it was fall break i don't know one of those breaks last semester and i didn't completely finish it um so i'm going to like work on finishing this because i did start to hell with a hustle and i really like that but i hate that i haven't finished this yet and i started that book so i really want to finish this one um so this is you are the girl for the job and it's really really good so i'm gonna try and finish this so that i actually read to hell with the hustle because i feel like i've been neglecting even like reading picking up a book and reading it at night just because i know in the back of my mind that i haven't finished this one so i'm excited to get to this one done i am going to go to bed though you guys um be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye